So the music you sent me, you you did all of that. Yeah. So what all do you play? I play that music that I, that you heard. I played just with the keyboard. I had a mini keyboard, uh, but I play guitar and ukulele, and uh, I play a little bit like penny whistle and Chinese flute and just a few different, just a little bit of a few different instruments. How did you learn them? You just picked them up on your own? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I taught him guitar. I taught him guitar. <laughs> you taught him so guitar. Him guitar. <laughs> what are your aspirations in music? Do you have aspirations in music? I want to. Um, I want to find a way to make it into a business for myself, um, like um, to be like a home studio producer, so I can people can commission things for me, yeah. or if they have like, yeah. if they have a if an artist comes with me comes to me with a song or something, I can help them produce it or something. I My specialty, I'd say, is orchestra, orchestral music, and uh, I'm incorporating some, like, synthesizers and stuff to synth pads. So it's very cinematic, very uh, ethereal type. My, my parents came here in, I forgot the year, but they started this ministry in 2010, and we take in uh, not just orphans, but like kids who we, we live in kind of a more urban area. So kids from rural areas will come here for like an education and uh, they can stay here with us while they're doing that or if their family can't provide for them or if their family abandons them or what, what for whatever reason we can uh, take kids and take care of them while they sit. And yeah, we'll teach them Bible on Sundays and help them with school and all that stuff. If I can add to that a little bit, his parents, his dad is Ethiopian. Okay. And so he he fled Ethiopia um, and ended up in a refugee camp in Hungary. And um, while he was there, he had to flee for his life. But that's when he got his solidified his walk with the Lord. And um, that's the refugee camp ministry I started. Nice. And and then he went into the Budapest church, which is a church that Mike and I were on a team. And we started that church together. And then he went to Bible school in Vita, Hungary. And his wife felt called to Ethiopia ever since she could remember. And then when at age 17, she was like, I don't know why I felt called to Ethiopia, but God's leading me over to this Bible college in Hungary. And to make a long story short, they met, they married, and then God brought them back here. And they started Ebenezer Grace Ministries and children's homes. And these kids have been kids that, if they hadn't gotten in helicopters and went and got them, they would have been destroyed. And so it is beautiful for me to be here, but that's, they've raised their family here. So somebody like you like with your skill set it would be really cool if you could like if you could arrange a worship song the way you would do it and then i would get people to sing over top of it and then we release that so like a song that me and my family just really like right now i don't know if you're familiar with it. it's called rest on us so that, like, if you could arrange it the way you would do it in, in an orchestral way and just yeah. do your thing, but just obviously leave room for the melody so it could be sung, the choruses and verses and bridge and all of that. And 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 if we, if we could figure out a way for you to send your, what we call tracks to us, to me yeah. here in California, then I will have some people here in the United States sing on it. I would probably have uh, Mike and Teresa's girls sing on it. And it, yeah. would, it could be a cool thing, like a worldwide thing. People in the United States, people yeah. in, in England, people in, in you in Ethiopia, that, that's a pretty cool story. And especially the fact yeah. that you're 15 with otherworldly talent. <laughs> That would be really cool. Well, cool, you guys. Thanks again. Nice meeting you. And welcome to the No Turning Back Music family.